Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. I was gonna do this normal because the last bite, be well if you guys caught that. I was sitting also here, very lo-fi, um, but like, I normally film these on Mondays. Yesterday I was pretty busy, and I didn't have time to film it, so I'm filming this Tuesday. I have to edit the whole thing tonight, get it posted for tomorrow, and I'm already tired. <laughs> it's like 5.30. Yeah, so excuse me complaining, but this I just wanted to film it like this. And also, I have no idea, like, if or what the new releases are, because I haven't really been paying attention to new makeup releases, if there are any. But last time that I filmed this, there were surprisingly more releases that I just didn't know about. They just went right over my head, so let's just look and see what we find. I already mentioned it in the last video. I guess I thought it would start earlier, but the Sephora sale... I'm not going to be shopping it. I don't need anything from there, and especially with what they pulled. If you know, you know. Um, I'm not going to go out of my way to purchase from Sephora anytime soon. So this palette looks really cute, but I know I have these shades already. I, did I ever talk about this last time? I honestly cannot remember. This is from Give Me Glow Cosmetics, and this is the Extra Spicy Eyeshadow Palette. And I know I have these shades. I mean, it looks very cute. And I like the colors, but I've got these 10 times over in my collection. Oh, these look so cute. I don't need them, and the peach one looks like a butt. But I don't. <laughs> They're really cute, but I don't need them. These are from Makeup Revolution, and these are 3D highlighters. There's a 3D peach, apple, and strawberry highlighter. They're adorable. But I don't need them. Ooh, so it looks like Nabla Cosmetics is coming out with some new lipsticks and eyeshadow palettes. That, it's a neutral palette. That smoky palette is really calling my name, the one to the far right. But I know I, do, I won't use these, and I don't need them. Hmm. Why is it that it's, whenever it's with Lady Gaga's makeup line, it's always a pre-order. You never actually get to order it when things come out. Her first few products, people like, even if they like bought them or they were sent them, I think they used them like once. But most people that I follow on YouTube didn't even get these because they didn't look that good and <laughs> they didn't get the best reviews. And so now I guess they're just coming out with new shades. I see like lip liners and lip glosses. And you gotta pre order it, it doesn't even come out anytime soon. Yeah, no. I feel like with a, a, a release during this time, like in this COVID time, is. Mm, a release during this time that's a pre-order? Mm. I think they probably should have pushed this release back, but they made they made people do a pre-order for her original like sale of her first brand with Amazon. And that's the thing, like it's Lady Gaga and it's Amazon. Why are these pre-orders? You've got like the most profitable business like in the country, if not the world, and you've got one of the biggest superstars ever. Why are these pre-orders? Why aren't people like even if you wanted to buy these, why can't you just buy it? Something sketchy going on there. Hourglass is coming out with an eye primer. I've tried a few mini versions of their face primers and honestly, they're, they're nothing special. I said it. Sue me. Don't Please don't sue me, Hourglass. I can't afford it. And Benefit is continuing their tradition of not releasing anything new, but repackaging all the stuff that they currently already have available into a new box. This is $90. And what do you get for $90? You get, and these look like minis of the pore primers, minis of the blushes. Yeah, these are all mini. I'm not paying $90 for a box of minis. Get out of here. Ugh. So Colourpop came out with a new palette or not. These look like Ulta exclusives. Again, I can't tell if I talked about these already or not because they all look the same. <sighs> that being said, nothing special. Packaging looks nice, but uh, yeah. I feel like even here, like things that I want, I think there's only one thing that I actually like saw and wanted and it's this. I think I talked about it last time. This is the Melt Cosmetics, the new palette. That looks, it looks like a grungy subculture, which is the real only reason why I want it, which I don't need it because I have a subculture dupe and I pan subculture, so I don't need this. But those colors, they called, they called to me. Man, they did. Ooh, it looks like that could stab somebody. 
Milk Makeup is coming out with a new brow pen. Just looks kind of stabby. Stabby, stabby. <laughs> yeah, I used to use a pen for my brows, but eh, I'm just letting them grow out and like do their own thing at this point. Ooh, these Clinique blushes look really cute. I kind of wish they had like a bright orange one, but these look really cute. Man, it's currently only available in Asia and I guess eventually will come to the US, but these look adorable. Oh, so Essence is coming out with a new collection. This is called the Bronzed This Way Collection. It looks kind of cute. Some bronzers, some powders, a big ass, a big ass brush, and an eyeshadow palette. Huh. I would be interested in trying that bronzer, just out of curiosity, because I don't think I've ever tried any... Have I? I don't think I've tried any, like, face powders. Like, bronzer, highlighter, blush from Essence. Other than the... What's their classic highlighter that like everyone has and loves that with the exception of that one I don't think I've tried any other base products so yeah I feel like that's I'm even if it's a product that I want to or we are losing the light <laughs> even if it's a product that I'm like interested in I'm not gonna buy it anytime soon like I feel like I'm kind of saying the same thing even if I want the products like we're, we're in unprecedented we're in unprecedented times can I say unprecedented there we go we're in unprecedented times and I'm not like on a total no buy I just have no desire to like shop for anything that's like not essential right now so this might be pretty boring <laughs> sorry oh so I saw an update um I uh, last be wow I mentioned there was a new wet and wild collection that I thought looked really cool and I was interested in it looks like it's a Walmart exclusive so probably not gonna find it <laughs> a because we i'm not shopping in stores unless i have to for groceries and b the walmarts around me are terrible i've gone to like a well, back in the day i went to a bunch of the walmarts around me just to find like a, a nice well-stocked makeup uh section because i heard you can get a lot of flower beauty you could get a, a lot of like really well-stocked uh cheap brands at walmarts but none of my local walmarts have a well-stocked makeup section they're decimated <laughs> and I've gone to several and multiple times too and I just gave up because my local Walmarts are terrible <laughs> so this palette looked pretty interesting just for the packaging but when I like broke it down and looked at the shades I knew I wasn't really gonna use them that much because they it's very like purpley pink heavy and while I'm dipping into purples now with my pan that palette they're not the first thing I reach for by a long shot. So while I appreciate the packaging and I think it's adorable and cute, I wouldn't reach for it. Why is everyone and their mother coming out with CBD products? I really don't think it has that much effect on skincare as it is, but like it's just the new trend. Like you know like a year or two ago we had like the unicorn trend and everyone had unicorn this and unicorn that. Now it's weed and CBD and everyone needs to have it and it's just the stupidest. It's like like that 12 year old that's trying like so hard to be tough and say like oh I, I, yeah I smoke blah blah blah. It's like kind of pathetic you know. That's, that's how I feel about it. Anyway I'm not interested in any new CBD releases. I think the only one that I was kind of interested in was Essence back when they did one because they're an affordable brand and I was kind of interested if I were going to try anything it'd be from them and I didn't buy anything. So let me know what you think about all this CBD stuff down below. I could have sworn they already had a taco palette but Glamlight just came out with the street taco palette and it's kind of cute. I don't think I would so, I don't know. I look at this palette and I'm like, oh, it's cute, but I don't immediately think of like what I would do with it. It's not calling to me. Not inspiring to me, but I, I think it's a cute idea and they, they keep going with their theme. They've got a strong theme. They're sticking to it. So, Lime Crime is coming out with a freckle pen, which, you know what? I gotta say, I'm surprised it took this long for someone to come out with a product specifically like for fake freckles. Because that's been a, like a, a trend for a while. Like I've got my own freckles. I've got a bare face. I just took, with a makeup wipe, I just took off my base makeup and I left my eye makeup on. I'm shaking things up here. So I've got my own kind of freckles, but I've never... I think I did fake freckles once and that was for like the Dorian Electra look that I did. And then for the freckles music video that... Uh, Curtis Waters came out with so like I only do fake freckles 
for like those kind of um editorial looks they're not my day-to-day -day kind of thing because i've got them and i'm covering them up <laughs> but i know there are a lot of girls out there that and guys too excuse me there are a lot of people out there that really like fake freckles and put them on like almost every day and i am kind of shocked that it took this long for like a specific product for that to come out i'm sure there's like some other uh i guess less mainstream products that are available i know most people i think if you're trying to like get semi-permanent ones you do like henna i think that's the way to go that a lot of people have used but uh i don't know it was a big trend and i was kind of surprised to not see a lot of other brands do the same thing that being said it's not my kind of product not my kind of look but let me know if you like the fake freckles and you put on put them on fairly regularly what do you use do you use just like eyeliner do you use henna what do you do so Glossier, which is a brand that I'm not, it's, it's not really my vibe, but not my kind of makeup, not what I really like to go for. But they're coming out with this hand cream, which I think $18 for a tiny little mini hand cream. It's a bit much. I like to buy a lotion in a bulk because <laughs> I use it constantly. Make sure, again, I think I said this last time, but... Uh, we are washing our hands constantly because of what is currently going on. Make sure you moisturize <laughs> Because if you don't and you're constantly washing your hands your hands are gonna get dry. They're gonna crack you're gonna get uh, like little splits and cuts and open sores on your hands and that's gonna be even easier for you to catch whatever is going around so please moisturize it's not just like a vanity thing <laughs> moisturization is important especially when you're constantly washing your hands that being said, I use lotion constantly just because I need it. <laughs> I used to get such dry hands in high school that my knuckles would split. It was bad. So now that I have the ability to get myself lotion, I just buy big tubs and I refill my small containers. I have a lotion everywhere. I When I used to go to work, I had a lotion, a big lotion thing on my desk at work. I've got lotion at my vanity here and my new little desk in my little room that I now work from home at. I've got a little container of lotion there too. So whenever I wash my hands, lotion it up. And that being said, I'm not going to buy this because it's too expensive and it's clearly just like a brand coming out with something with their name on it because they can. So I'm, I'm I'm probably a bit ignorant here, but I thought Wayne Goss already had a makeup brand. I guess it was just makeup brushes, but this looks like a sneak peek for what's actually going to be actual cosmetics. I've never tried his makeup brushes because they are expensive, <laughs> like hundreds of dollars expensive for a set. And I just never felt the need to spend that much on makeup brushes. But the people that I have seen use them on YouTube, like, swear by them like sell your firstborn child swear by them so i don't know i don't i doubt i would ever try brushes that expensive but based on that price point i can only imagine how much his cosmetics are going to cost so it's probably also going to be just a a no from me so tarte came out with a new concealer this is the hydra sealer which sounds right up my alley i like a good hydrating under eye concealer I can't tell the shade. I mean, the shade range looks okay. Like, not the best, not the worst. It looks at least even from what I can see from the swatches here. And I'm actually kind of interested. I haven't tried a Tarte product in a while. So, you know, once this all blows over, because again, I'm probably not going to buy anything. I'm really trying not to purchase anything that's not essential online because I read an article where there were, um, interviewing warehouse workers and they were like upset that they had to go into work and put their lives on the line put their families at risk and one of them was quoted as saying we shouldn't be fulfilling orders that aren't essential like makeup isn't essential right now and i agree like i'm i'm only ordering at least right now in the state that we are in uh currently i'm only trying to order what is necessary um so i'm not going to be buying any makeup uh, you know for the foreseeable future at least but once this kind of blows over i'm actually really interested in this concealer i love the, the packaging it looks adorable and i love a good hydrating concealer oh so this is actually really interesting too so maybelline 
is re-releasing is it just this foundation yeah so it's the matte and poreless foundation they're re-releasing it in new packaging and it's specifically like a squeezy tube which i gotta appreciate because i personally did not i like the matte and poreless for the summer it's one of my go-to summer foundations but the bottle is kind of a pain in the butt it doesn't have a pump you gotta pour it out it's kind of a pain to scrape everything to get like every last drop out so i think it's actually like really cool that they're coming out with this because they also have an amazing shade range i think it's awesome that they're coming out in like this different packaging i don't think i have a matte and pour this in my collection right now i would normally like need to make sure i picked up one of my go-to matte foundations before the summer hits but if the summer is basically just going to be inside i may not need one but the matte and poreless is one of my go-to's i buy it every summer um so if i have to buy one for this summer if we happen to go back to some semblance of normal and i'm out and about and i need something that's going to stick on my face i'll definitely be picking this up i hear a lot of birds but i thought i just heard a cat i guess glam light's also coming out with a donut palette am i the only person that doesn't like donuts I'm not a fan of donuts. I'd rather have a bagel. And if it's like a dessert kind of thing, I would rather have like a cookie. I don't really like donuts. So CoverGirl, which I think this is an Ulta exclusive or eventually it'll come out everywhere, um, is coming out with a new prep and set Water Mist, which comes in three scents. We got Rose, Cucumber, and Citrus. I love me a good rose facial spray and I love good affordable setting sprays. So I am really wanting to try the rose spray again not buying anything anytime soon but i want to try it out i probably won't try the cucumber because if you remember wet and wild came out with the cucumber spray a while ago like last year and i tried it and it was the worst smelling thing i've ever tried <laughs> it smelled terrible and i hated it and it's not just wet and wild i think it was smashbox they came out with a version of their their primer water that was scented and it was like either cucumber or like greens i sprayed that on my face and i gagged i don't know what it is with like fake cucumber or green scents that just is terrible <laughs> but man i just uh so i will not try that one but i, I really want to try the rose one so it looks like dior is coming out with a new foundation this is the dior forever something 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 <laughs> Uh, 24 hour wear healthy glow fresh tint heat proof and sweat proof Ooh, ooh, i want to test that out dior because i sweat like something else during the summer and i do have to say the dior the dior air flash foundations mm, that's one of the best foundations i've tried it's incredible so pricey but i'm tempted i've been really tempted to repurchase that foundation can't justify it because i've got a lot of foundations but i am intrigued by this new one all right and last let's talk about these new brushes from real techniques i can't tell if they're like actual new like shapes or designs or if they're just new colored handles but these is these is this is the cashmere collection and it's ten dollars oh no no it's not they come in different kits okay it's kind of annoying so the kits range, they've got new sponges coming out too, so the kits range from $10 to $20. Hmm. I've tried a few Real Techniques brushes and I've been really happy with them, so I should probably branch out and try a few more other ones. Again, not anytime soon, but uh, I don't try the, I won't try the sponges. My favorite is still the Shop Miss A sponge that I adore, but yeah, I'm interested in trying out maybe some more of the face brushes because i've been i've been kind of in a rut i actually had someone request to see my favorite face brushes and i realized i kind of like favorite makeup brushes and i realized i'm kind of going for the same brushes every day and i feel like i'm kind of in a rut but they also work really good for me so let me know if you guys want to see that favorite makeup brush video because i could just do that it'd be fairly easy to do okay so that is everything for this be wow again we had way more to talk about than i originally like would have thought let me know what you guys thought of these products down below and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye i'm so sleepy i am sleepy